Today we are going to take a look at how to create property verification points. Let's jump into it. I'm using Squish for Windows and the WPF address book example, which is available in every Squish for Windows package. The script language is set to JavaScript. For the creation process of property verification points, I need to start the recording. Click on Verify and Properties in the control bar. Now the IDE is back up and we could search in the application objects view here for the UI element that has a property that needs to be verified. Since this could take a lot of time, we can speed things up by using this little green tool here, the pick tool. Let's say we pick this edit here and this results into the edit being displayed in the application object view directly. This saves a lot of time. On the right side we see all available properties for the previously picked element. We now have to click on one or more specific properties. I'm going to check the ID property here. Once this is done, we leave the settings up here by default and click on save and insert verification. A so-called scriptify property verification point will be generated. I repeat this process now. Click on verify, properties. Use again the green pick pipette tool. Click on the edit. Click again on the ID property. And now instead of leave the settings to scriptify property, I change to property and change the name to, let's say, edit ID and click again, save and insert verifications. Now I stop the recording to take a look at the generated script. The first script line, this one, shows the scriptified property verification point. Given is the UI element here, the property that needs to be checked and the value of the property. That's why it's called scriptified property verification point because this can be easily changed to another property and the value of the property can be changed as well directly in the script. The second approach results into a file being created. The file is stored here in the test case resources and to change the value, I have to perform a double click. And now I could here change the value of the ID property. After running the script, both property verification points passes and create a log statement and the result is shown here. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in our second product, Coco, which is a multi-language coach coverage tool. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye bye.